indexes indexes are actually used by by the query to to find the data from that table very quickly like this indexes can be created if uh, to the table or the any views like here here in uh, uh, indexes are of two types clustered index and non clustered index here here i have created a table like created a table like clustered index example here i have given like a um, uh, id employee name salary gender and city these are the columns of this and this is id is as a primary key so actually this uh, 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 one table uh, for uh, for a table we have only one clustered index can be there actually these clustered index they sort and store the data in the uh, uh, based on their key values like here it is a int id is an integer and it is a primary key here uh, if it is a primary key we have a default clustered index if you want to see first i am creating the table so if i execute this see the table is created and uh, now if you want to see that uh, the, if you want to see whether the clustered in default clustered index is formed or not i am going to the database and there in, in the table tables here this is the table clustered index example here if you see the indexes this is the we, uh, we can see this default cluster see see here we can see that this is, is this is showing that it is a clustered index so if if any uh, if any column is in a primary key it is a default uh, clustered index is formed with that um, uh, with that column here it up id will be the primary key so there the for this table this is a clustered index is created and default cluster index is formed here if you see first we don't have uh, first if you see here select star from the clustered index we don't have any data so here no data is there next i am inserting some values see values here first one you will be id will be one here i have just said that the order is not same so not in the same in the increasing order or like that so if i execute this as it is a default clustered index is there the row, the rows are sorted and they are in the increasing order see this is how it has sorted like id is in primary case so the, due to that it is in this in increasing order it is it is shown here so if we want to create any other index like um, uh, index clustered index so this is a format like create clustered index this is the index name on which table this is a clustered index example this for this table i am creating a cluster like clustered index for the two columns like gender is in descending order and salary is in ascending order in this order i want to sort the data so this is how a clustered so if you if um, like more than two columns for a table like a primary key it should be it should have only one clustered index and but for that one question it can be on two uh, on more than one columns so here i have created a clustered index for this both the columns together this is the name of the clustered index so here so this type of clustered index is called as composite clustered index here index can man uh, that is what index can be maintained with the two two uh, columns like whatever it is in a like uh, in a telephone directory we can segregate with the first name and the other thing so like that like a telephone directory we can search uh, this uh, is used for searching the query as now we have only some of the data but in large huge data this clustered index can be helpful to retrieve the data very quickly so uh, now if we want to create if we create here we will get an error message like so you cannot create more than one clustered index why because as it is a primary key we are already it is the default clustered index is here so i am deleting this 
so i'm right clicking and now i am going to delete this index so here i am deleting this index After deleting, I am creating this clustered index on this both the rows like in descending and gender and a salary. So now if we if we go and search here, see if we can see this is the first we have one, two, three, four kind of thing here in the in that default clustered index. Here, but I have created a clustered index like gender is in descending, means first we have gender is as a male in that mail in the salary is in ascending order so this is how this uh, first you segregate here and then it will uh, increase so this is how it uh, uh, re retrieves the data like uh, the index will come and this is how uh, what we can say uh, table of uh, rows uh, rows or data will be retrieved so quickly with using this type of uh, uh, clustered index so this is how I, in this video i have explained about the clustered index in the next video i will be explaining about non clustered index and what is the difference between a clustered and non clustered uh, indexes thank you thank you for listening if you like my video please subscribe and share my video